Hi. So if you're not already on Twitter, then you should be. Twitter is a great way to stay connected, to get news as soon as it happens, to be involved in live discussions and even brand yourself or your business. Setting up is super easy, it's just like any other website, so it's a username, email and password kind of deal. After you set up, you're going to want to personalise, so head over to your settings. From here, you can change your time zone, your picture, your banner, and make any changes to your preferences just to make your Twitter how you want it. One of the great things about Twitter is how closely it works with your phone. I've been using Twitter on my phone since 2009, I believe, and it's super great. And there are two ways of doing this. First of all, there's the app. Most of us probably do have smartphones and most of us are probably on goodie bags. So as you know, if you have the £12 and up goodie bag, then you have limited data. If you have the £10 one, then you still have a really decent amount of data and Twitter doesn't take up very much anyway. So you can either use the app or you can use the text message system. To do this, you need to add 40404 to a contact on your phone and then just text that with a tweet and it will send it straight to your profile and publish it for you. Twitter is based on really short statuses, so there is a character limit of 140, so it's just like a normal text message, it's the whole point of Twitter. How to find people on Twitter? So there's a search bar, you can just type in a username or a surname or whatever you want and try and find the person that you're thinking of. Or there is the hashtag system, so if there's a live discussion going on or a topic that you're particularly interested in, you can search the hashtag and then look through everyone that's talking about that thing and follow anyone that you want to. There's also a similar feature, so Twitter might recommend some people that are similar to the people that you already follow. I'd recommend just kind of following authors, celebrities, anyone you know, and then you can easily unfollow someone if you're not liking what they're posting. So it's time to learn the language. Twitter is all about conversation. An at reply is how you reply to someone on Twitter. You do the at symbol and their username at the very beginning of a tweet just to reply to them. This will show up to them and also anyone that is following both of you. And then there's mentions. Mentioning is just like tagging someone on Facebook, really. Here's an example of one I did earlier when I was writing up what to say in this video. <laughs> Mentions are just like a normal tweet, but with a tag in the middle of them. So they'll just end up on the feed and be shown to anyone that follows you. Direct messages are the private messages of Twitter. You can only send a DM if the person is following you back, but it's a really great way just to send something that isn't public and is still on the same platform. And then there's hashtags. Hashtags were originally created just to categorize content, but now they're kind of used for humor as well. If there's a big event on or a brand new television show, for example, hashtag X Factor is usually trending. <laughs> you can click there and scroll through what people's reactions are and you can tweet and just put the hashtag at the end of your tweet just to categorize it and join the conversation. Hashtags are also used for humor sometimes. Some people love this, some people hate it. I tend to use hashtags as if it was a thought to myself after saying something loud that I tweeted. So there's things like just woke up late, hashtag sigh or something like that. As always, the best way to learn something is to just get involved. So if you haven't signed up, give it a go. You might really like it. There's obviously enough of us that do. It's one of the biggest social networking sites today. <laughs> so if you're on Twitter, I hope you're following GifGaf and I'm on Twitter too. So if you want to follow me, then you should go ahead and do that. And that obviously applies to you new guys as well. So if you are starting up a Twitter, go ahead and at reply me and say hi and let me know how it's going. So as always, let's talk in the comments. Why did you join Twitter? I joined Twitter years ago because I have a really bad habit of joining any social media site that I hear about. As always, I've been Zoe vlogging for GifGaf. Until next time. Yeah.